You know, I think as you get into conference play, I mean, obviously, you know, we took off Sunday, watched the tape. We got to continue trying to get our team better, focusing on on our team, you know. And uh, you know, I thought the Wichita State, after watching it, we got a couple areas better as far as assist to turnover. Thought spacing, uh, the way the floor spaced was better. It can still be improved. You know, our concern right now is our ball screen defense. Uh, and just stopping the dribble. And, uh, and then obviously, you know, uh, the one guy just made, he made some tough, tough shots, but that's what good guards will do. And we had our chances, and we've got to be able to make plays at the end of the games to close them out. And at the end of the day, we're about two plays away from being 7-1, and everybody thinks our team is fine, but we still are looking at the same tape and, and understanding, you know, the areas that, that we've got to get better. Um, obviously, Auburn – Lost a great deal, but they have a really good nucleus come that came back. Uh, you know, it's just a really good offensive team. They're averaging 13 threes a game in league play. Uh, their team, just like all Bruce's teams, very well coached. Uh, you know, good ball movement, uh, just young, and uh, I think they still have a chance to win a lot of games in our league. John, start us off. Kermit, what has kind of like the mood been like in, in the locker room uh, the, the, these past couple of days and at practice? Do you think your guys have kind of had an extra chip on their shoulder? Yeah, you know, it was a, I mean, a hurt feeling. Obviously, you know, Wichita State, very, very disappointed. Uh, you know, we, you, you hate the days off because the, the game has to linger an extra 36 hours. You know, we watched it at, at 9 o'clock on Monday morning. Uh, but, you know, after we get through that, we have to learn from that and move on. And, and our practices have been good. It, it's just our practices have been spirited. One of the best ones we've had all year uh, was yesterday. You have a, a lot of guys in our locker room that, that winning means a lot to them, and uh, they're disappointed. And, uh, you know, and so they've been very attentive to some of the things we've got to do better to, to try to be, win some high-level games. And how vocal have kind of your older guys, your leaders been um, in the locker room and the practice these past couple of days, like the KJs and Devontae's of the, of the team? Yeah, the, but Devontae has been very good. He had a couple of his best days of practice before the Wichita State game. We probably played too many minutes, you know, and so that's something we're going to try to figure out uh, during this week of SEC games of trying to, obviously he's going to play a bulk, but, but trying to limit his minutes and, and keeping him more fresh at the end. Uh, you know, his, his voice has been good. KJ's voice has been good. You know, uh, you know, Hadeem C, we miss him. You know, I mean, he started our first game. He he, he won the battle, and uh, he just had a tough time. He just kind of had bad luck, and, and so we got to get him back going. And uh, so he had a really good day of practice because I really, really think he can, he can help our team, he and Romello together. Ben, go ahead. Armour, what makes a team – uh, improve ball screen defense. What do you have to do to be a good defensive team in that, in that regard? Well, you know, Romello White has to be better in ball screen defense. Number one, it depends on how you guard the ball screen, uh, Ben. You know, we will guard it a couple of different ways depending on where the ball is on the floor. Number one, you got to have defenders, perimeter defenders, who can do their job and maybe get over a ball screen or if you're going to ice or down a ball screen on the side is terminology, uh, then you got to have the big to be level with the ball screen. And we weren't level. And what I mean, if you don't get level with the ball screen, there's too much space and those guys can go downhill at the big. And so that's something that we have spent a ton of time on. I thought it was going to be a strength of our team, and it broke down the other day. And then, obviously, the Dayton loss, Alabama loss, and the Wichita State loss, we just, we're giving up just too much dribble penetration. And then, so with that being said, now we got to be better rim protectors, and uh, so just those three areas are the biggest thing on that on that end. Go to Nick. Herman, what are the challenges of preparing for these teams like Alabama and Auburn that just seem to shoot at will? And, and is there anything mental that you have to tell your players to not get out of your rhythm when teams are trying to get you into their tempo? Yeah, you know, we, we want to play up tempo. I mean, we want to play. We're going to try to break it and and play fast, play fast in transition. We're trying to do that. You know, obviously, if uh, I mean, our three-point percentage is not great, so you know, wouldn't you know? We shot the other day. We shot 16 more times than Wichita State did, and we shot six more threes than Wichita State did. And uh, you know, so it's not about the, the the pace, but I think when you play those teams, there's going to be a lot of long rebounds. You hope, 
that you, know, you hope they are, you know, that you've guarded where there's going to be some more of those 50-50 balls. And so a lot of those balls are, 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 you know, really deciding factors in winning games. A big thing about Auburn, like they've always been the last two years, is they make so many tra uh, transition threes, about as many as anybody in college basketball. So that's one thing we've been very good at uh, against them for the most part in two years. We lost two tough games last year to them, uh, but it's getting back and getting our half-court defense set. Parrish, go ahead. Hey, Kermit, I know you all want to win every game out, but uh, starting 0-1 in conference, uh, is there more of a sense of urgency now? I know you guys got off to that slow start last year. You know, Parrish, it's not. Um, I mean, obviously Alabama's a quality team. They went and won at Tennessee, so there's going to be some teams to, to lose in Tuscaloosa. Uh, you know, so I, I think our team is just excited about playing. There's 17 games left. Uh, I'm not trying to compare anything, but Michigan State started out 0-3, so you can't panic. You know, you, you just got to go – you got to try to improve your team, and, and that's what we've got to do. And, and our team is looking forward to, to tomorrow night's game. You know, it's going to be tough, and uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good two-game uh, homestand for our team. It's important. It sure is, and, uh, and we're looking forward to playing. Go back to Ben. Yeah, Kermit, it's hard to miss, but Domencio hasn't played much these last handful of games. What's held Penn back, do you think? Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, we, we've got some guys that need to play better. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing with Domencio is just trying to keep the ball in front of him. And, uh, you know, we, we we expected big things from him. And it uh, just seems like when, they, when he gets in the game, people are, are, are playing inside of him off the dribble. And, uh you know, he, he's a guy that, that we would love to get more minutes. Uh, do He does have some toughness and, and a voice. He really hadn't had a chance to get in a rhythm to maybe shoot some balls. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Luis has played has played well. We even looked to start maybe playing KJ a little bit more at the three to where we can maybe play Robert Allen or one of our other bigs with Hadeem and Melo. And so, you know, we're still just we're, – we're, I'm, I'm them. We're trying to figure out our team and the rotations and, uh, and what's going to be the, the best way for us to, to play off the bench. Any more questions for Coach? Yeah, I got one more, Adam. Has um, KJ offensively and how he's kind of expanded his game and he's made shoot more jump shots, for example, is that what really has opened up the possibility to play the three some more? It has, Ben. It has. And, you know, KJ's we, – we've talked about it before. His basketball IQ is great to where he can – you know, obviously some guys, they limit themselves because they really can't run different positions, you know, based on schemes and things. And KJ's very smart in that way. Uh, yep, and just maybe this is some production we've had off the bench at that spot. So it's just something that, that we're looking at. And uh, he, like I said, he shot it better. Uh, I do think he has more of advantages at the four, uh, but he could be good defensively. Could play more zone with KJ at the three, you know, and uh, and with a, with a bigger lineup. So all those things are something that we're we're kind of focusing on and just looking at, and just seeing what gives us the best chance to try to win.